Long shot moves in. Solitary Sally Age. And they're off in the Cadaver. Very sharp beginning there for Golden Tabby, the favorite. Bay Street picks up on the inside from second. Sultry Sally H, this long shot on the outside, trying to get over from third position up close. Fast track races fourth, and Royal Whisper on the outside, improving a spot or two for the backstretch run. Here comes Royal Whisper. Royal Whisper, eager to go, moves up third to make three across the track in the early stages. So Royal Whisper now in front from Bay Street. Golden Tabby back third position. And Sultry Sally H in fourth. Fast track is in fifth. Another two, My Flicker riding the rail. Bella Bettina and Too Many Kisses is last of them all. Too Many Kisses now ten lengths off the speed. Royal Whisper has opened up the lead into the far turn run. Royal Whisper at a good clip, leads it by two and a half from Bay Street second. And Golden Tabby ridden for more from third. Bella Bettina, My Flicker's trying to get underway on the inside run there. My Flicker, about seven from the front. As Royal Whisper turns in, Royal Whisper, quarter of a mile left to go by three. From Bay Street, Bella Bettina, My Flicker on the inside. Back to Sultry Sally H and Too Many Kisses. Nothing from Golden Tabby has dropped to last position. Something amiss there is being eased up. And the inside there is fast tracked. Into the stretch for a long left to go. Royal Whisper, Royal Whisper, outside is Bella Bettina, who's He's closing the gap now. Royal Whisper, Bella Bettina, too many kisses. Too many kisses. Too many kisses. Gets up to win under Forest Boys in the Conniver. From Royal Whisper second, then it was Bay Street in Bella Bettina. Long shot moves in. Sultry Sally H. And they're off in the Cadaver. Very sharp beginning there for Golden Tabby, the favorite. Bay Street picks up on the inside from second. Sultry Sally H, this long shot on the outside, trying to get over from third position up close. Fast track races fourth, and Royal Whisper on the outside, improving a spot or two for the backstretch run. Here comes Royal Whisper. Royal Whisper, eager to go, moves up third to make three across the track in the early stages. So Royal Whisper now in front from Bay Street. Golden Tabby back third position. And Sultry Sally H in fourth. Fast track is in fifth. Another two, My Flicker riding the rail. Bella Bettina and Too Many Kisses is last of them all. Too Many Kisses now ten lengths off the speed. Royal Whisper has opened up the lead into the far turn run. Royal Whisper at a good clip, leads it by two and a half from Bay Street second. And Golden Tabby ridden for more from third. Bella Bettina, My Flicker's trying to get underway on the inside run there. My Flicker, about seven from the front. As Royal Whisper turns in, Royal Whisper, quarter of a mile left to go by three. From Bay Street, Bella Bettina, My Flicker on the inside. Back to Sultry Sally H and Too Many Kisses. Nothing from Golden Tabby has dropped to last position. Something amiss there is being eased up. And the inside there is fast tracked. Into the stretch for a long left to go. Royal Whisper, Royal Whisper, outside is Bella Bettina, who's He's closing the gap now. Royal Whisper, Bella Bettina, too many kisses. Too many kisses. Too many kisses. Gets up to win under Forest Boys in the Conniver. From Royal Whisper second, then it was Bay Street in Bella Bettina. Official $2 exact $94.80. Dollar trifecta $245.60. Dallas Super Factor 1893 10, 6466520. In Maryland by Mr. and Mrs. Charles McGinnis and Tim Keefe. Too many kisses for us boys aboard. She's a four year old Bay Philly by Arrogate out of Casual Kiss by De Hair. Minute 25.76. In Maryland by Mr. and Mrs. Charles McGinnis and Tim Keefe. Too many kisses for us boys aboard. She's a four-year-old Bay Philly by Arrogate out of Casual Kiss by De Hair. Minute 25.76. A nice competitive conover here. Tim, keep too many kisses. Listen, this has been fun because this is a homebred for your owners, right? It is a homebred for the owners. Charlie and Cynthia, they certainly know how to breed a horse. You know, they won the, they were the breeders of the winner of the last race for Gary and, and of course with this filly today. So, um, you know, she's always, we've always felt she was a nice filly after still having fun. Her half sister um, did so well. Yes. The decision was made. Charlie and Cynthia decided to step it up a little bit and they bred to Airgate. Yep. And um, 
you know, I haven't had a lot of experience with the air gates, but in watching how a lot of them have been running over, over the last couple of years, they just seem to get better as they get older and older. And, you know, I'm, I'm very fortunate to have Charlie and Cynthia and, and Fran, uh, kudos to YouTube Fran for just being patient and letting this filly finally develop. She was a little backwards early and it's taken a while to get her here, but, and I think she'll even be better the longer, the longer, as soon as we start stretching her out, you know, the longer we go with her. Great, because that's kind of what I was leading to and looking at her overall, overall storyline. I mean, she came with a bang this season. I mean, did you kind of did you kind of expect this off of the mark for 2024 with her? Well, yeah. I mean, you know, with the way she's bred and, and the way she works in the morning, we just knew at some point the light would come on and just, just give her time, just be patient with her, and, and she'll start to figure things out. So, I mean, we have to talk, uh, you know, considering everything turns out great in the barn tomorrow morning. I mean, you're talking about stretching her out. Is there? Do you have any specific timeline and thought for her? Absolutely not. No, I have nothing in mind. We'll just see how she comes out of the race, see how she is. You know, it's a group effort. Everybody back in the barn. Peter gets on her. She's not an easy filly to, to ride. He makes okay. her look easy. So, but everybody back in the barn did a, a wonderful job in getting her here today. I I mean, speaking of the barn, the the whole barn, your whole team has just been doing a fantastic job this winter. I mean, how, how fun has this winter been for you? It's it's fantastic when things come together. You know, as I've always said, I wish there was a way we could kind of level it out so there weren't these peaks and valleys like there are. And, you know, you never get too high and you never get too low. And um, But, no, everything's going great right now. So. Well, I mean, speaking of, you know, these peaks and valleys as just a horse trainer in general, for you yourself, what's kind of kept you going through both the peaks and the valleys? Horses like this, you know, A2 Fast to Catch still having fun, Celtic Guinness, this filly, Red Round Table, you know, all those kind of fillies. You know, they just, they make up for a lot of the disappointments that you get in it sometimes and, and um, this is well worth it. I'm really excited and hopefully we'll have you on air. In this situation, a little bit more, hopefully, uh, knock on wood, nice year coming for Tim Keith here for 2024, including the Conover. Official $2 exact $94.80, dollar trifecta $245.60. Dallas Super Factor 1893.10, 64 double 65 20. Fifty cent pick three, twenty four dollars seventy five cents. Ninth race next, the Harris and E. Johnson Memorial Stakes in a mile, second wire finish, scratch three five seven, dollarization, Magic Michael Ladero. No shade, show wagering and no superfecta in the ninth. Tenth race, no changes. 